You're listening to PodcasterNews.com. Welcome to the L.A. Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. And we're back with Stevie Wilson, the social media expert. And when we, before we left, you were going to talk about getting free gifts. And by the way, that's Natasha, our new hostess joint. She came in because she wanted to find out about the gifts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but idea. Before we went on a break, we were talking about how you can get free things on the Internet, as well as we talked a little bit about safety on the Internet, and we right. want you to elaborate on that. Okay, the free things that you get, usually if I'm... Um, reviewing a product, mm -hmm. they will send me the product to review because it's very hard for me to tell you how effective it's going to be without actually trying it. And I've had things where I buy I buy things, mm -hmm. and that's probably not as good but as. But do you think feel swayed to have to give a good review because they no. just gave you a free no. product? No, that's you don't feel that way. No, okay. it's because I I believe in the integrity of what the review is all about, right. and I've done things where I I bought things and thought they were great, and bought things that I thought were terrible. Mm -hmm. If there's somebody's going to give me the product to try, I'm going to tell them. And if I don't like it, I will tell them. Yeah. Okay. I'll give them a heads up. Do they give you another one after you've given them a bad review? <laughs> <laughs> they might want me to try That's, it again. You know, one of the things that's been so helpful to me is because I am just a product. I love products. I love, you know, hair pro everything. And when I go online to see those reviews, it's so helpful for me right. as to if I do mm -hmm. or don't buy a product. Yeah, that's true. So for me, just, you know, I send karma out there and I'll let other people know, you know, Oh, exactly. I like this. This mm -hmm. fit well, mm -hmm. and it is that has re definitely revolutionized things. So, Stevie, as we're yeah. talking about the reviews, let's talk about safety on the internet. Because oh. if you give a bad mm -hmm. review, something might happen to you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <too. laughs> but more importantly, what should our viewing audience know about just being safe on the internet? First in off, Craigslist and all those things that are happening. Oh yes. First thing that you should do is make sure that the control the amount of information you're putting out about yourself. Sure. That means don't give your what year you got married or what year you graduated and don't let your kids do that either. Um, there are too many kids who put too many things, too much personal information, TMI, right. mm -hmm. that about where they live, what they're doing. It's, I've seen people actually say, oh, we're going to go to Disney World for two weeks and we're going to be gone. <laughs> it's like, did you want to give somebody a key to your house? Because they can right. take your IP address, which is right. going through your computer, and somebody technically savvy can find out where you live. Then that tells them you're not home. They can look up in title right. records. Right, absolutely. And see right. Where you and right. So. Especially a lot's been happening with young ladies being, you know, prayed away. Right. You know, men or whoever right. is pretending. How do we, how should, what do you recommend that we pr protect them from falling prey to that situation? They okay. should really think twice about meeting anybody without making sure that they are who they are. Okay. And how do you do that? Then they need to talk to somebody who's really more technically savvy and probably go to back to their school, um, particularly at college, and talk to an IT person mm -hmm. um, who can actually help them. And that, it's really interesting because one of the other things that people need to realize is that they think that they can just download anything. Right, right. And I became the spokesperson for McAfee mm -hmm. this year. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, only because I managed to script my computer and it only cost me <laughs> <laughs> three weeks and a thousand dollars to fix it but the point was that I had clicked on a, a screen that came up on my on my uh, monitor that mm -hmm. said I had downloaded a virus and did I want to screen and scan it and I said yes and it looked just like right. Right. my own antivirus so program a lot it wasn't the fake antivirus thing cost three hundred million dollars a year to consumers right. okay. one out of five people have to replace their entire computer Wow. And buy a new one and reload everything. So they, it really does mess things up. What about up. these companies that, like when I was driving here t today, there was um, advertisement for like $99 a year. They monitor all your information right. online. I mean, what do like, they do? I, I mean, yes. $99 a year, they can't be doing very much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we're in a recession. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> how much information do you want them out, particularly in a recession, do you want them to know how much you're spending or not spending? Right. Um, I... I really can't comment about those, right. but I can tell you that like you should always have an antivirus program. Yes, right. But particularly if you have a business, and particularly because we were talking about business and branding, right. there are other things beyond that you need to be aware of that antivirus is not enough. 
you absolutely need to have what they call a, pres uh, a particular security program. And there's several companies mm -hmm. that have programs from anybody from like IBM or Core or Kaspersky or somebody like Rapid7, which is the newest player on the block. Okay. That will help protect your. So the most important thing in safe internet is not only just, you know, staying away from predators, but making sure you keep your information safe. You right. don't really Mac, think about you don't that. You need virus protection though, right. if you have a Mac. Right? You no, know, that's not Absolutely. true. That's not true. That's not true. They they're used to be they're the equal case. opportunity. These people, oh, do really? it. they do equal it for opportunity thieves. Now, if Absolutely. I, <laughs> now, if I, think I may have downloaded a virus <laughs> on my computer, what do I do? Should I just turn it off and never turn it back no. on again? No, what, what do you do I is need to you, do? if you have antivirus program mm -hmm. and if you have a Mac and you don't have it, you sh you will get it. That you should have an antivirus and run your own antivirus program, not the one that's telling you you have just downloaded a virus, unless yeah, yeah, you know yeah, it's right. yours. Don't ever trust those people. You don't. You, know what? <laughs> you don't. We're going to follow up with that. That is some great information. We'll be right back with Miss Stevie Wilson. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.